currently I have enrolled eight children. So we have one pescatarian and then we have two vegetarians. That um, the pescatarian likes to eat fish and the vegetarians just eat vegetables. But it made me kind of change the way that I feed them. So I tend to go shopping at the um, farmer's markets and at the farms so I can get fresh fruits and vegetables. It makes my job a little harder, but I don't mind. Let's go with this one. I know we had this a couple of weeks ago. It was sweeter, sweet. My name is Celeste Joyner, and I'm an early childhood educator. And at 8.30, we all go and sit at the carpet, and we have something that we call morning message. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? My name is... And morning message consists of children learning their full name, their address, um, their birthday, and how to spell their first name. But it's very important to me because a lot of children wander off, they get lost, and they may say, oh, I live on that red door. Well, it could be 50 red doors. But if you could give somebody your correct address, well, your full name first and your correct address, then maybe you won't feel so lost. Also, that gives you a sense of pride when you know those things about yourself and a, just a sense of self of knowing that yes I care for children with a lot of energy and I wish I had some of that energy myself but yes a lot of energy so the youngest is 20 months and the oldest is four years so yes a lot of energy a whole lot Stand up. Ready? Reach out. Reach out. Reach over. Reach to the other side. Clam shell. But I noticed that yoga helps bring them together in the morning to clear their minds, clear their thoughts, as well as mine. And it takes us another place. So they're able to stretch when they're doing the yoga. And it also gives purpose. It also helps strengthen your body and strengthen your mind. Also, it kind of take a little bit of the rambunctiousness out in the morning to kind of get them a little settled down. And they like it. Today we went outside and they were working on their numbers um, from one to 10 because we have a few that don't know all of their numbers. Well, in our mind, we took a walk on the beach. They pretended that they took a, a walk on the beach so they were able to find seashells and sea creatures and they had to put them in a bucket. And then we came back to the table and we talked about how, who had what sea creatures, how many did they had. Here at the Children's College, we wear uniforms. We had an issue uh, 15 years ago of uh, one parent, one parent might make a little more than another parent, so they tend to dress their children a certain way. Well, one child wasn't able to dress that way, and I noticed um, sometimes little girls would say little things. So I came up with an idea. Let's just wear uniforms. Everybody can be the same. I love it, and the parents love it. So in my program, I serve morning snack, lunch, and dinner. My husband is Gilbert, and he helps me out sometimes on Thursdays and Fridays. He helps me warm up the food. Today's um, lunch menu was um, haddock, which was wild card, macaroni and cheese, and collard greens mixed with kale. And I bought the collard greens and kale from the farm. It's one of their favorite meals, and they all had seconds. Um, with nutrition, I kind of grow with them from year to year. So you may have one group that um, may not eat fruit and vegetables, but 
about middle of the year, they're kind of eating fruits and vegetables because we have a two bite rule here. You have to at least try it twice, just two bites. And if you don't like it, then it's okay. They have juice in the morning, that's 100% apple juice. Then during the middle of the day, they have a cup of almond milk. And then at the end of the day, they have water. They can have as much as they want with the water. The only sugar that they get is through fruits. That's it. I don't serve any sugary snacks or any, they already ran bunches enough. We don't, we don't need them to really jump to the moon with more sugar, oh my God. active play is like an hour and 15 minutes or sometimes an hour and 30 minutes but when we're outside and we're just having a good time I don't worry about the time so it may sometimes maybe two hours what got me started in the early childhood field was actually my dad my dad wanted to open up a child care center and this was a dream of his because he always used to say a child is born every day and we need to give we need to give back even though it was my dad's dream, it's now mine. People don't realize we don't get paid by the hour. We get paid per child by the week. Um, and what people think that they're paying us, and if they actually break it down, I mean, we don't even make minimum wage. That's why it's, it's a huge turnover sometimes in childcare because people aren't, people's needs aren't being met money-wise. There are other ways that your needs are met. Like, I like the smiles. I like the I love you's. I like the hugs. I like the pecks on my cheek every now and then. Some of them be a little too wet. It makes me laugh and it gives me joy because what I do follows them forever. Once they have a great start, not a good start, but a great start, they become excellent students, excellent readers, just excellent people. That's what they, but they just have to have that great start. At the end of the day, the last child leaves like 5.30. When that last child leaves and the gate closes, I just go, oh, but I had a pretty awesome day. <laughs>